Hello, you can hear me? Hello, please let me know if if you can hear me, please. There. Made a mistake, you know, I have two, two cameras here. And it looks like the audio, you know, one of the cameras doesn't work. And I was using that audio. Okay, I, so sorry. I mean, I'm pretty sure you want to find out that there are like five, six, or maybe more videos that have the same problem problem at the beginning. And you know what? I always trying to think. Okay, okay, I'm gonna pay attention for the next time, and I always forget to, to, to pay attention to the to the microphones. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. Blocking the eyes. Not the nose. Okay, let me see. Uh, basically, what I do to draw. I try to see simple shapes and for example the mouth I'm just trying to see the overall shape of the mouth it's just like the face that I started with something like th like this I do the same here I do the same here okay and for the eyes it's the same Hello Monique, hello Tricia, hello Dinesh, where, where are you? hello Nadia, hello Mayor. Okay, okay. Uh, hello is Mar, hello Hema. Okay, let's continue. This space for the hair. Yeah, I think that's okay for the stitch. I'm gonna prepare a couple of colors. One is gonna be a little bit lighter, and the other one is gonna be for the shadows. Since I'm working with this, just with uh, this palette, there's not too much to choose from. It's gonna be always about ochre and red, unless you want to create some violet or some green. In that case, for example, to make green, obviously you're not gonna use red, just yellow ochre okay, and black, and white, and you're gonna get green. Now another color for the shadow. Uh, for example, with this palette you can get some really cool shadow if you just mix camion red, black and white. You see the color? Amazing. I, and add, I'm going to add a little bit of that color but I, I don't think I'm going to use it that much. Anyway, this just put a little bit of on the shadow.
Let's just paint a little bit over here. The mix just brown, black, red, and ochre. I'm making a, a lighter color here, just adding white to this one and add, adding a little bit a little a little bit of yellow ochre. Okay, let's see if that color works okay. I'm gonna have another 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 option here. Okay, what I'm doing this is because this is a black and white image. Okay, I just can uh, play with the color and try to choose uh, maybe I don't know a different variation. And this is just black and white, a lot of white. It's not gonna stay obviously this grayish color. It's gonna get mixed here. I just want to try this color. Okay, I'm gonna add more black, more white. Now, what I'm doing, I'm just create, trying to create some harmony between some, let's say, cool highlights. Okay, cool highlights have here a warm skin color here and cool shadows okay you know every painting that uh, I, I, I make here on my channel I paint is at the same time to show you the process is at the same time a practice for me and this is one way to practice always trying to push temperature I'm not saying that this is gonna stay I'm just establishing this right right away right now and let's see what happens I mean it's just the beginning I'm establishing everything definitely you're not gonna see this violet color at the end I, I'm going to knock down that that color uh, but right now I think it has, that's really good for to start establishing temperature and color. Okay. Let's draw a little bit of the face. I'm gonna use this brush. How tilted is the nose? Okay, the angle here. You can, uh, if uh, you have to take you for reference to your left, let's say to your left or right, really close to your painting, you can use two brushes and use this brush to put on top of your for reference and see this angle, for example, from the bottom out, from the wind of the nose to the corner of the eye. And then do this the same on the painting. And the idea obviously is that have this parallel. If you see something like this, I mean that means that you need to you need to correct something there. The same for the eyes, the angle of the eyes. Huh? Even the angle of this wrinkle here. I'm going to draw a little bit, just a little bit. I don't need 
details right now. See the corner of the eye. Okay. Let's see this angle. This angle. Mm. How tilted is the mouth? Okay, I need to step back and compare. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Michael. Mm, what kind of canvas paper? Uh, canvas, it's canvas. Yeah. Thank you, Monique. Cotton canvas print with gesso. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I use the same canvas for acrylics or oil paints. I apply three layers with uh, a, a, a ruler, something like this. I have this. this. I put the gesso and I do this. That's it. Three coats and one more of this uh, color, any color. I mean, I usually use, uh, I can use this kind of brownish. It's like that because it's very transparent. If you see the paint here, uh, it's really dark, it's like this. But as soon as I apply on the canvas, because it really has a lot of water, it's transparent and I have this, this color. Or sometimes I use gray canvas. You know it's better to use it's any color, it's something that is going to help us to, to see values. But I'm not saying that's that's better than painting on a white canvas. There's no right or wrong. You can use white canvas, toned canvas, anything. It depends. It depends. Yeah. In my case, uh, since I'm trying to always try to finish up a painting in one session. But I mean, uh, using a white canvas is just gonna be an obstacle to get to the darker values or to judge mid-tones I think everything is okay. Uh, I'm worried right now about the position of eyes, nose, and mouth. I'm gonna be correcting a lot here. But right now I'm just squinting down my eyes and I'm trying to see position of the eyes, nose, and mouth. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, let's continue. I'll continue drawing. I'm gonna draw the white of the eyes. Let me see.
I mean, this area, of course, I'm just trying to, like, imagine that you're drawing and you are in the first stage of the drawing when we start blocking, and that's what I'm doing right now. Let me just step back. Mm. Okay, again, let's go with a darker color. Nothing more black, more red. And I'm going to draw again. First, I need to light up some areas here, for example, here. And adding more red to work on the nostrils. Okay, I think I have to move this a little bit down. Okay, now the reddish areas of the face See, I'm squinting down my eyes. I'm trying to see where are, uh, let's say, the lightest light. And I think here it's going to be really bright. Then here and less here. Okay, and of course, then always the nose. Okay, let's blend. A little bit. It's soft. Everything. Okay, blend a little bit, and I have paper towel here, and I clean out my brush, just like this. I go over here again. Just on the air. I'm not pressuring too much. Estoy ocupado ahorita, estoy, sí, estoy ocupado ahora mismo. ¿Te llamo más tarde? Ok. 
te llevo más tarde, lo pienso. Ok, sorry. Okay, really soft on the air. Uh, you can go really fast, but it doesn't mean that I'm, I'm pressuring. I'm just doing this, okay? You see my brush is just on the air. I'm not doing something like this. And I clean up the brush again. Okay, now let's draw again. So I'm going to pick up again this uh, brush number zero and I don't need too much paint, okay, if you have too much paint, do this. That's enough, I just, uh, you know, I'm drawing, maybe I'm going to blend this again. Uh, let me see. Okay, stepping back and squinting down my eyes. Mm -hmm. You know what? I feel the skin is too orangey. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to adjust that. Okay, I'm gonna see the comments. Hello, Saraji. Hello, Eo. Uh, hello, Sam. Daily Art. Are you, why are you using black and white photo? Oh, why? Because I want to... <laughs> I, I mean, I wanted to paint here. There is no too many colored photos of that time. I mean, and I love these images. I just love them. I love these black and white pictures. Hello, Gregory Pol Polon. Hello, Miri. Hello, Ria. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Monique, I love the new Patreon banner. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see again. 
this angle are you gonna check out on the all of the angles okay Right. Remember, remember that this uh, this area close to the tear duct is always a little bit lighter and reddish. Don't paint this black, black. Okay, you can add pure black to. The, eye, the eyelashes but here in this area you want to see a little bit of the skin in shadow okay that's the skin in shadow I mean it's not like the skin is darker on the eyelids in fact uh, maybe I'm gonna say that it looks even a little bit lighter. Okay, let me measure a little bit. I need to measure, for example, I can use uh, here the eye eyelashes to the mouth. Okay, I can measure this and, and just compare with anything here. Maybe here the width of the mouth of or the eyes. I'm gonna do that with um with my photo reference and okay I think I have a match here. Kind of close. That was for the drawing. I'm going to draw the teeth uh, uh, mm, I just a little bit later and just right now I'm stepping back I need to see okay compare the no, yeah, okay I think that everything is okay. I need to I need to paint this shadow here. the questions pain smile is not easy yeah okay sorry bows bows are you painting the color contrast with the help of your your mind by seeing only the black and white pictures shadow and highlight contrast uh yeah I mean yes of course I mean when every time that we paint 
we, uh, I mean, the idea is to is have what you know and have what you see. Okay? You need to know um, about the colors. Uh, let's say that but, but I, I don't know how to put it with the right words, but let's say that every time that you paint a portrait, you gotta use the knowledge of that experience for your next portrait. And and after painting, let's say ten portraits, we should be able to um, at least paint a little bit of the skin color without even watching the skin color, because. You know, this is repetition, repetition, I mean, it's not like uh, we're painting a blue skin color and then the next portrait's going to be green or grayish. It's always a variation of an orangey grayish color. Could be more reddish, more yellowish, it could have more contrast, warm, cool colors, but it's going to be just like that, I mean, you need to, we need to know uh, how to let's say paint the skin color we need the, we need the knowledge even even before what, watching the, the skin color okay? and that's what I'm using right now uh, basically if this image was a color image my palette is could be the same the same palette I don't see the difference between a colored image or a black and white image my palette is the one that is making the work here. I can play it like with cool warm colors but everything is going to be around around uh, this grayish orangey color. Now if we try to match like perfectly uh, okay that's, that's gonna be different. That means that you can maybe you're gonna have to spend like mixing like three four hours colors and trying to match every color yeah. it's something like this I mean if I tell you to paint an apple by memory I'm pretty sure you, you any of you are going to be able to do it yeah? an apple, a red apple yeah. why? because we already know the color if we let's say we paint an apple once, two times, three times, ten times we will know the shadow color, the lighter color. Okay? That uh, we need to just to have, uh, let's say, a formula, something that to simplify the process, in order to work with values, because that's the point. One thing is color. I mean, oh, okay, I have a red apple, but if you don't, we don't have control about light, shadows, and shadows. Uh, then that's going to be uh, something that is going to be against us because we're not going to be able to uh, to get to uh, the, the volume eh? to capture, to, to create depth Now I have to use this lighter brush. I'm going to uh, go on the white of the eyes. I gotta check out again this angle. How tilted is the center line? That's okay. The angle of the angle of the nose here. Everything. Okay. Drawing is something that we gotta be checking out. Drawing during the whole process.
need to draw the brows. Let's go back. That was for the drawing aspect of the painting. Let's go back to think about color. Now I was saying that I think this, this skin color is maybe too orangey. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to gray down some areas and the mix here black and yellow ochre and white this is going to be a grayish greenish color okay let me see let me see i need to step back and think about this okay i'm gonna just down the color a little bit here I'm going to add more black, yellow ochre and white. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep a little bit of this color here, some areas. Okay. And if I get rid of that, just I'm gonna add, add, add that color again. And right now, right now I'm just trying to gray down the color here on the skin. Let me. Okay, I need, I need this brush. Let's make this more orangey.
Okay, I put more paint. Now I'm going to blend again. Teach online course. Okay, same. Yes, I have uh, some paint alone lessons in Patreon. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello, sorry, hello. Oh, okay. Jacob. Well, thank you, Mary, for answering. Hello, Eve. Work on the eyes. I remember her for a movie Cleopatra I think let me know if I'm wrong to this eye. It doesn't look right. That's better. Mm -hmm. I'm using just pure, pure black for this area here. I need to make this dark. Okay, let's see the nose. Mm. Okay. 
and getting close with the eyes. Let's add some highlight to the nose. Okay, I need to add more color to the nose, more pinky, more orangey. Remember, uh, the color in the nose it should be warmer or saturated or lighter than the color here. Okay, I gotta pay attention to that. That means that if I put this color here, if I put this color here. I mean that's not gonna be okay. I need to make this make need to make a difference. Why? Because I want this the nose to pop forward. Okay. Uh, and one way to do this is just adding more color to the nose or grade down this area. And of course the highlight is going to help. Okay. Let's go and read the comments. Okay, sorry if about your team in the football football European Championship Championships. Somebody was asking about the my Patreon link. I'm gonna just put this one here. Put the link here in the comment box. The comment in the chat box. That's my Patreon account. Hello, Joyce. Mm. Uh, same daily artist asking me how long does it take does it take for a painting to look good? Okay. I'm trying. I'm gonna try to make this look beautiful in two or three hours, but it depends. Eh? 
it depends. I mean, it depends on the style. It depends on how I mean realistic or depend and mostly depends on, on, on taste, on personal taste. What we like and what we don't like. I'm blending again. Continue working. I'm gonna work on this area here, the contour of the face. Okay. Uh, oh, Monique, you posted. Yeah, you know what's gonna happen. YouTube is thinking that you're posting some spam. Yeah, it doesn't allow to allow allow to post links. Me and, and the uh, I'm allowed to post links because that's, that's my channel, <laughs> but but usually if uh, I try to post any any link, uh, let's say I go to uh, some channel and I try to to help and post a link, post a link, it's not gonna I mean, it's not gonna be vis visible. YouTube is gonna block it. Okay, stepping back again and squinting down my eyes really hard because this image, you know, when you have an image that doesn't have too much contrast, it's, uh, it's difficult. Obviously, I know that I need to make a difference. I have to uh, uh, always think that this value is going to be lighter than this one. Okay, and that's what I see on the image. This is really a, a really subtle difference. Uh, I have to decide maybe make it this darker or change the temperature, like I did at the beginning. I added some violet. I can see some a little bit of the violet color. That means that this little portion of the face that is in shadow is a little cooler, and this portion is warmer.
Okay, let's work on the mouth. This is gonna be the difficult area. Okay, let's see. Oh, mm. See the highlights, I have a highlight here, here. Okay. Mm. Okay, I, I'm painting a little bit of the teeth and uh, kind of blend it or erase it because I'm not so sure about this. I need to just I did a little bit and compare and I'm just gonna make th then clear clear little by little just okay uh, okay I need to go back again on let's see the overall shape again. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Add a little bit of light. I'm stepping back and squinting down my eyes. I need to check out this. Okay, okay, okay. I need to.
Okay, I've uh, been using different variation of this, the same color. You see this mixture here, and then I use this one, and then I use this one for this area. This is more grayish because it has some green from here. I mean, it's not going to be the same color everywhere. I mean, more orangey, more reddish, more grayish. Now the difficult part that would be the contour here. I have to control that. Okay, let's add some dark color and just mixing black here with a little bit of yellow ochre and here in the palette is already a little bit of red okay Let me see. Mm, mm, Okay, I'm not so sure about this area. Maybe I have to hmm. Okay, I need to step back. Let's see. Okay, no. Okay, let's see. I'm going to narrow this like that. Okay, I think that's better. I'm gonna leave it there for a moment. Mm -hmm. Just continue what this zoom in this. Okay, I think I'm pretty close, but I still need to work on the contour. Uh, for now, I'm gonna just leave it there for. I'll be back here. Maybe it's a little bit. Something in the edge. Okay, you see the mouth, the shape is different.
decision. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're we'll checking the angles. How tilted is this? The angle from here to here. I need to add some color. I have here permanent alizarin and green zone. Okay, just I need just a little bit. I'm going to put the image bigger. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see some mistakes. Mm -hmm. I need to light up here more. I need more light here, you see the eyes, the nose is not the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put it back. Uh, there is a link to the image, okay, in the description box.
you can check out there. I'm just stepping back. I need to check out again. Remember all this, this. Now, um, I see the angle of the nose is not okay. Mm, maybe, maybe it's not about the angle. It's maybe about adding more light to this area. Okay, let's see. If that's not the case, I just have to correct this again. Okay, let's work on the eyes again. No, the hair. Okay, I just need to work on the hair. the color of the hair, I don't know. I, I assume that is uh, brown. shape of the forehead okay something wrong there uh, you see that it's a process of going all over the portrait correcting here and there and there is no guarantee that once we make a correction in some area that's going to be okay uh, it's like moving remember it's just like moving pieces of a big puzzle and we have to be moving this pieces all the time, a little bit, just a little bit, and when we're getting really close, that's the, I think that's the most difficult part, because uh, at the beginning, I mean, I don't see anything, it's just kind of a, a mess, or something really abstract, and I, I, I gotta say that I'm more relaxed at the beginning, then uh, when I'm getting to, to see more about the eyes, nose, everything, that's when I start just to compare more and see mistakes. And don't sometimes I see that something is wrong, but I don't know what it is. Okay. I always try to check out values. That's one thing. Okay. Because I've been checking out the proportion. I have been, I have been measure uh, all the, the distance between, you know, this Comparing these angles is the same as measuring, okay? And I have measured the width of the face with the height. Okay. Now, obviously, I need to see the values. For example, the nose should be lighter. And adding just pure white here. And I'm mixing this white with the paint here. That's already because you know my painting is already wet. Is uh, I mix here. And I can mix here in the painting. I can mix in the palette. Yep, I'm gonna add more white here. Okay, let's 
блин. blend again let me work a little bit here Not too much pressure. You see this? I go really soft on the air. Okay. Let's say you you cannot uh, you want you don't want to get rid of this light because that's perfect the color the brightness and you can go around. Or you can go all over and just give it you some options. Okay, I'm gonna add more mm. More color to the face, more more like a pinky color here. Okay, more light too. But now I just want to blend. And now one thing, every time that we blend, every time we blend, we're gonna just uh lost the contrast and mute the color. Okay. Need more light here, highlight on the nose, more color to the cheek, more contrast on the eyes. Uh, okay, there are, there are some things I need to uh, fix on the eyes. Uh, she have to look a little bit up. Okay, this eye is just off. You see, it's not okay. Maybe it's because of the nose. Oh uh, no. Oh, okay, let me see if I can fix a little bit of that now. Mm, 
I'm trying to copy the shape of this area. You see it's like a triangle? That's what I'm trying to copy. Getting close. I'm just getting close. Okay, okay. Something is not okay. You can try to get the shape of the eyes, of this eye, and then this eye, and then I'm going to see the color because I know that uh, she had some kind of violet, bluish colors. Uh, to be honest, uh, I don't remember black and white uh, movies. <laughs> it was a color movie, I don't even remember. Sorry. But anyway, you're gonna look for an image here in Google. Mixing here, okay. Okay, add, add some paint and then I'm going to blend this. Just really soft without pressuring. Okay, let me step back just to think a little bit. Let me read the comments. Okay, uh, hello, the David Airbrush Art. Hello, Mervat. Mm. Okay, Miri. Oh, what? <laughs> Are you speaking about the color? Oh, more violet. Yeah, yeah. Or blue. Okay. Good night, Ria. Hmm. Okay, Joyce is telling me her inner eyebrows and seems sharp. And the high point is directly above above the other corner of outer corner of her iris. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check out on that. Uh, there is a daily message. Something her her eyebrow needs to come down. Okay. I'm gonna check out on that. Violet eye eyes. Mm -hmm. 
now that I, I, I see my hand, <laughs> I know there is a scratch here. That was my cut. <coughs> Sorry. This part is difficult. the questions going to add some highlights
I'm not going to be able to make a lot of details on the teeth. But that's too much work. I think that's okay. Maybe I'm going to light up the teeth a little bit more. But just that, just a little bit more. Okay, let's work on the eyes again. Okay, getting close, and not enough. Mm -hmm.
Sorry that, sorry that I, I'm not, I'm not saying anything, to be honest, I'm just so focused on this. Okay. Mm. I'm comparing and just, uh, you know, I, uh, now I, I, I'm just watching my, my screen. And I have here in my screen the both images and using this to compare. Yeah, I think I'm pretty close, but I, I see some differences. I know I'm not going to be able to make it 100%. But the only problem that sometimes uh, looks like we are really close, but there is something that is like I, I don't know what it is. It's, it's what we portrait painters just to say, just to call the soul, the soul. Yeah, it's like something is just there, and and we can even um, let's say measure the drawing and see. And everything is okay. We measure everything is okay. Everything is in the right proportion, in the right place. But you you see the painting and you don't see the person. It's something that is something is missing. Sí. Pintando. Okay, okay. Okay, car. Okay. Okay, what do you think? What do you think about the, the background color? Hmm, I can add, maybe, I, I, sometimes when I have a doubt about the background, I always choose gray, just black and white. 
is always neutral could be lighter darker and uh, at the end it's just something like uh, in this way I don't I'm not so worried about this it has to be a, any color any color yeah? Let's add some highlights to the hair. And let's see what we do with the background. Oh, the neck. So we need to work on the neck. <clears throat> now this palette is perfect, this li li limited palette for the skin color, right? but you can add blue, yellow, I mean uh, everything is not just the skin, I mean the, 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 for example the background, I'm thinking maybe add, to add some bluish color. See, see the background. Uh, I would love some blue. I always love blue. I mean, this you know, this is the, these portraits are kind of simple. Uh, I mean, there is not too much about composition here. Uh, it's more about for me to try to capture the likeness and color, volume, values, all of that. Checking out right now values. I need to go all over the face, for example, and just see here that there is not this line here. I need to light up a little bit this more, even more.
aqui. I need to add more shadow here and here. Okay. I need to give more color to the nose, more reddish. I don't know if the eyes are okay. I think are okay, but at the same time I need to dark a little bit of this, the white of this eye. Just a little bit. Okay, let's paint the background. Maybe it's really blue. Yeah, I think it's really blue. Mm, with a little bit of uh, permanent of this iron green zone. Let me see. Let's see if that works a little bit. A little bit of white, a touch of white. That's too much. I don't have too much paint here because I mean if this is not okay, I'm just gonna put more paint on top of that and just gonna start over at the background. Now, I'm going to think, uh, for example, about the sharp and soft and lost areas. I'm going to make this really sharp, a little bit here, and lost here, and maybe sharp, sharp here on the chain. Okay? I'm going to lost the hair here, and I'm going to just leave this a little bit sharper. Okay? The same is, uh, the same, like, yeah, let me use another brush here, it's the same, I'm just going to lose this and this okay okay, edges are really important okay. if, you, if you go and sharp all the contour of the face okay it's gonna look like you cut the face on for some i don't know some something else and you place it yes we have to always be think think about that some areas could be sharp and some areas have to be lost Okay, okay, thank you, Joyce. What color is her blouse? Oh no, blues, blouse, blues. Maybe pinkish, or maybe it could be, or blue. Yeah. I think the painting is better than the photo. Okay, thank you, If mm. Hello, Blender, Blender Pretender. It looks gray, I think it looks like just like hair, but if you think something is still a little, a little off, Perhaps the value of her right cheek under her nose is a little light. Okay, I'm gonna check out on that. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. One thing, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna add more light here, light here. I'm gonna blend this a little bit more. I'm gonna look for, on the photo for subtleties, like, for example, I'm pretty sure there are some little dark, it could be a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, maybe here, okay, I have to look for those subtleties all over the painting. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, 
paint a little bit of the hair has something black here. I don't know the name of this but Let's see some the edges. Let's work on the edges. I'm gonna use just pure black, a little bit of alizarin crimson, and let's work here. sharp and keep from here to here a little bit lost Here, here, of course, we have. I have to keep it lost. Okay, let's add more light. What lights on the face? I'm gonna blend that in a minute. Okay, here I need to add a little bit of light here.
Okay, I'm gonna blend, and that's it, I think. Oh, oh no, no, I'm forgetting that. I have to uh, work on the eyes. Yes. work on mm, a little bit here there's a shadow Okay, I'm missing something here, the shape of the forehead. Okay, wow. I think it's okay. Uh, we, uh, when we paint from a black and white image, we always think, I mean, we could think that maybe the, the challenge that would be, is, I mean, bring some color to the skin. Yes, but that's not a challenge. I mean, the, the skin color, let's say, uh, it's gonna be, uh, no, no, I don't like to say that it's easier, but just it's gonna be about time adding more paint, retouching, letting the painting dry, add some glazes. We're gonna get there. In a portrait, it's gonna be always about the likeness, especially when we paint uh, somebody that is really well known, like everybody knows here. And uh, you see, I mean, I was thinking about color at the beginning, 
at some point I just forget completely about color. And I was just so concentrated about getting the, the, the gesture, I mean the, the expression of her face. And I still no, not not completely uh, not completely completely satisfied with uh, the expression. I think that I'm missing something, but I know that uh, we all have we all have a limit, eh? and in these two three hours, uh, this is my limit. I think I'm, I'm not gonna push myself in uh, more about the the likeness. What I'm going I need to always look for a little subtleties about values. For example, I see that here should be a little bit darker. A little bit here. Okay. For example mm, here too should be a little bit darker. Okay, I'm looking for these subtle values all over the face. Uh, I'm gonna make some retouches with this brush with any brush that I can use for, for I use for blending because I don't want just to go over again adding more paint let's say if I, if I have to light up any area I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of paint on the tip of the brush that I use for blending and I do this and I blend and I light up that area a little bit if I have to make some area a little bit darker I'm gonna do the same okay with, just with a darker color let's say this just the tip of the brush and I can go a little bit darker here everything is wet that means that any color that you add it doesn't matter how dark is here if you're just adding a little bit it's gonna it's gonna get mixed and uh, it could be lost here if you add this dark tiny amount of dark on top of any light area okay for example I'm gonna add this a little bit reddish here okay I'm gonna again every time that I go again and again I'm making this a little bit darker but it's almost nothing, it's really subtle okay now I can see a little bit of the first color that I added here and here on the neck I think that's okay uh, uh, okay I need to check out here And when we paint, remember that at some point, sometimes we move things, like one eye could be a little bit up or down. And that's gonna happen, sometimes we don't realize about that. We think that we, that's, uh, that's okay, that we, we, re we already spent a lot of time in drawing. And we trust that that's not gonna move okay and it's gonna move every every time that we paint we add a brush stroke we gotta be careful because every brush stroke can move a little bit some area and we have uh, we have to check out always the drawing aspect that means this this the angles everything okay 
always stepping back, squinting down or eyes, comparing, for example, the shape of the nose, I think is not okay. Her nose is, looks more pointy, if a little bit round, the tip of the nose. but not too perfect that, that's not the nose I need to I need to correct that maybe I can correct this with moving this shadow here just like uh, I don't know I was painting the face and uh, my eyes just like were driving drive to see the, the light here okay yes and for a moment I, I mean that happened to me twice and I said okay no something I mean if that is happening that means that the, I mean it's distracting uh, my attention on the face moving to here sometimes it works perfectly a highlight around but this time, I don't think, I think that's okay if I, if I just see just the lightest lights here on the face. Remember always don't make sharp edges. Okay, imagine that here if I put this really dark and sharp, okay, that's gonna drive the attention, that's gonna add some hardness to the to the painting, to the portrait. Okay, hello Christine, Paul look, hello if uh if she was alive she could kiss friends. <laughs> Thank you if oh uh, I love the last touches is uh the color of the eyes I was thinking. I mean at the end it was blue eyes or violet eyes uh mm. I'm gonna add this, I have this number 16, this is cover violet hue. I'm gonna add a little bit of this color. to go out to buy some brushes. I've been here at home like I don't know for the last 
month, maybe two months. That's just too much. What do you think? Mm, yeah, works. I think it works, eh? A little bit of a highlight. Let me see. Let me think. Okay, I think I can. I, sh I could make her teeth a little bit lighter. Blue, gray, violet. Hello, Crisolida. How are you? Okay, maybe then I need to add a little bit of blue to the eyes. Just a touch. Let's paint the teeth. Let's make it in a little bit lighter, a little bit wider.
What do you think that's it? What do you think? Let me know if you, if you see something that I should. Okay. Well, okay. First, uh, first of all, I mean, I know there are there are so many things. Yes, but. I think thinking that the in a bigger picture I think it's really good. That's it. Let me read the comments. Okay. Oh, oh! I didn't pick up yet uh, the image for tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna look for the image now. So as I finish this, okay. Marvad is telling me only the right corner of the mouth needs some work. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think you're right. Ah, you mean this? Maybe your right is not my right. I mean, obviously we have the same right, eh? <laughs> I think it could be a little bit darker here. To be honest, I don't want to touch anything anymore, but. I see some shadow here that I need to really softly it oh so eyelashes here okay that's it it's been two hours and a half it's a nice time nice timing That's it. Thank you so much. Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> okay.
no, no. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Okay. Mm, I'm squinting down my eyes. Eyes checking out for the last time. Mm. Okay. That's it. I gotta go to it. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye.